Welcome back, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Lotus Breach in Modern. I last uploaded this deck list about three months ago, and you can find that video in the card above. And I say this deck list because, well, it hasn't changed a whole lot. If I'm being completely honest with you, we've made one small adjustment, and that's moving the third copy of Pact Negation to the sideboard, cutting the fifth bounce spell because I felt like five was a lot and four was really the number I wanted, and then I added in a second copy of Tome Scour. Do I think this deck is bad? No, I think the deck is fine, but I've been trying out other modern decks in the meantime, some Gruel Breach, some Living End, I've really been loving Living End, and I don't know, this deck has sort of just taken a back burner in my interest. It's still very competitive, it's still very viable, but I'm just trying out other things at the moment because I feel like this deck is kind of solved at the moment, so that is why I haven't run it in a while. There's something wrong with the deck, and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully we crush, and that's what I've got, so I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members-only content, and access to our members' Discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us, like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We are on the play. Our opponent has revealed the Gigantha. We've opened up a no lander. We're going to have to mulligan that. Ay ay ay, not the way I want to start this league. We'll go to five. This is acceptable. We'll keep definitely getting rid of one twiddle. And then we'll get rid of Street Wraith. Play the Delta, play a bobble. And then we'll bobble immediately to see if we get a one mana cantrip. I think I'll actually keep the Street Wraith just because we need stuff in the graveyard for Breach. Okay, Overgrown Tomb. Inquisition, sure. We're going to lose our Wishclaw Talisman. Cycle Street Wraith. That was a good one. Let's fetch. We'll go grab the Steam Vents. Because having Steam Vents actually allows us to win earlier because... You don't have to tap the Lotus Field for red, so you end up with blue-blue floating in a lot of situations, and that's very, very helpful. Here we're going to pass, and then in their upkeep, we'll bobble ourselves. Looking for Underworld Breach at this point. Okay. That's a monkey. We'll fetch. I'll grab the Watery Grave just in case I draw a Wishclaw this turn. Draw off the bobble. And another Twiddle. Okay, so we're in the point of the game where if I just draw Underworld Breach off the top, we win. Okay, attack with the Ragavan. We'll go to 14. Consider. That's a good one. Thoughtseize. Heavy on the discard. I mean, we're still in the same spot. I just have to draw Breach. And a Fable. Okay. Can I hit it? That can take care of a Ragavan, but that's not really the issue we're having. Also, with Saga, that can go get a Spell Bomb. So we're actually on a clock. I have very few draws here to hit. Actually, I have one draw because they go get a Spell Bomb next turn and they exile the Grape Shot. They played the Besaju, which could have stopped me from winning. Don't know if I agree with this unless they already have another answer in hand. And the draw step. Unfortunately, I think we're doomed. We got to 25% of the way through our deck, but we just didn't have it. And now they'll activate their Saga. Incoming Spell Bomb. Soul Guide Lantern works too. Okay, so that'll do. We missed our window of opportunity, unfortunately. And now we're going to try to win a post board game. So we definitely want these Ley Lines. We were highly impacted by all of their inter uh, their interaction via discard. I think we likely want Aves as well. Get rid of these Pact Negations. Board out Street Wraith. Actually, I think I want the Street Wraiths, and we'll board out these Sleight of Hands. Street Wraith allows us to be faster, which is what I want. We're going to board out one... Other World Gaze or Tome Scour. I think I'll do one Scour, because that leaves us with one. And I could board in a bunch of belt spells in this matchup, but... If we're going to pivot to Eve, I don't want to also have a bunch of bounce spells because it's a little... You're, you're diluting your deck too much. So I think leaving the one in the main deck is fine. 
If you don't want to board an Ave, then I understand all the bounce spells coming in. <sighs> no lands again. Mulligan. This is actually pretty good. Keep. Our best draw off the top would be an Ave Progenitor Ooze. Okay, Leyline enters. We'll start off by cycling Street Wraith. Okay, we'll pass. Blood Crypt into Ragavan. Okay. Grab. Steam Vents? I don't know. Otherworldly Gaze. That's actually very good. That just gives us the entire combo on turn three. And I was rewarded for getting Steam Vents as well. Pass. Let's make sure that they don't get anything good with this Ragavan. We'll flash back Otherworldly Gaze. Leave the land on top. They play a Tarmogoyf. Okay. Alpine Moon. No! That's brutal. Okay, upkeep. We will flash back Otherworldly Gaze looking for the Void Snare. This means that we likely have to change our game plan. In game three, I'll have to board in a bunch of bounce spells. Consider. Don't need you. Pass. So they're attacking for eight, so I have one turn to hit the Void Snare here. That's a bummer. We had a nice clean turn three win, and Alpine Moon went and messed it up. They exile the twiddle. They grab another basic. They cycle the triome. Okay, void snare. Consider. That doesn't do it. Okay. That gave us a window. So we're going to twiddle the Charmagory to stay alive. And then next turn we wish claw for the void snare into a win. We're in their beginning of combat. We will now tap the Tarmogoyf. Tap target permanent, target Tarmogoyf. This attack will put us to three. Okay, so Bobble's not the worst for them because they could draw in to besage you. They fetch so they didn't want the top card. That's a good sign. Spellbomb. They can't target me with Spellbomb. So they'll draw off my Bobble here. We'll draw for turn. Activate the, the Wishclaw. Go grab Void Snare. Play the land. Void Snare the Alpine Moon. Underworld Breach. You still can't target me with a spell bomb. Okay. Come scour ourselves. There's the grape shot. So now we can untap the Lotus Field. What's nice about this is I'm not showing them Eve. So maybe there's a world in which we do both plans. I'm not sure. Okay. They concede. I think if you want to do both planes, you have to board out Street Wraith. So you're admitting being a little bit slower. But I feel like when you have 14 real lands, you almost need the Street Wraiths. I wonder if we board out Considers instead. Alright, I'm going to do two Consider and I'll board in two Bounce Spells. Let's do this. Game 3 versus Jund. I like this. Keep. Component is taking a mulligan to 5. Playline and a Ragavan. It's a very good opening. Cycle the Street Wraith. We found a Bobble. That's a good one. Target ourselves. Wish Claw. Yeah, I definitely want that. And then to be lazy, I'm just going to go grab the Wish Claw Talisman, or the Water Grave for Wish Claw Talisman now. Ragavan gets in. We'll go to 15. It's a Twiddle. Wooded Foothills. Opponent also goes to 15. Plays a Tarmogoyf. So they've opened up on a very aggressive start once again. We'll fetch once again. And I, I'm repeating myself a lot here. But you want the Steam Vents in play because it saves you mana down the road. That's the idea. Play a Wish Claw. We'll pass. So we have a turn three lined up, assuming our opponent doesn't just crush us here with some sort of hate. They attack for five. They had another twiddle. Torok. They have one card in hand. Their time to shine. Blue, red, lotus field. Twiddle the lotus field. Yes. Tap for blue. Play an underworld breach. Twiddle lotus field. Yes. Tap for blue again. Twiddle lotus field. Yes. 
Otherworldly Gaze, Storm 5. We'll mill all of these. I wanted to see if I didn't need to use the Wishclaw so I could keep the Wishclaw back in order to beat like a random card that they have. But I think I'm just supposed to go get the Tome Scour. Show them that we have the loop. All right. So I'm just going to go through the motions here. I don't need to narrate all this. Okay, so we've milled down to five cards in deck, and then we milled the Grape Shot. We will now cast Grape Shot, targeting the opponent. Storm is 17. We've come back, and we've won match number one versus Jund. You'll love to see it. Four more matches left, and uh, let's keep on doing the turn three Lotus Field thing. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round two, we're on the play. Yeah, I guess we keep this. Two lands, Lotus Field, Breach, all the good stuff. The last time I faced this opponent, they were on Yawgmoth combo. I don't know if they're still playing that, but I guess we'll find out. And with this deck, I know that it seems odd, but I like bobbling on my own turn because I have so many instant speed cantrips, and I need to know if I need to shock myself for those or not. Okay, so we're drawing off the bobble here. It looks like Yawgmoth combo. It smells like Yawgmoth combo. We'll fetch. So there's a little, like, do you play Steam Vents there? I don't think we're ready to win on our turn yet, so I think I want to just the fetch. I would take a pretty good draw for us to be able to win. Evolution. Okay. I guess if I draw a Twiddle, there's a chance we can win. We'll take one down to 18. A fetch. Essence Warden. Young Wolf. Okay, come on, Doc. Please give me a Twiddle. That's step one here. Draw off the bobble. There we go. Okay, that's definitely a win. We do have to care about Endurance. You, endurance is usually a singleton. Okay. Activate. We'll go grab a Scour. Untap. Scour. Again. And now we're just going through the motions. Turn threes all day. That's what I'm here for. Twiddle. Storm is eight. And there's the Grape Shot. Okay, so we can just double Grape Shot our opponent from here. Untap. Yes, tap for red. Grape shot number one. Click, click, boom. I mean, these turn three wins feel pretty good. It makes me remember why I played this deck or, you know, why I enjoy the deck. Let's see if we can keep it up, though. I mean, it's only a match in a game, so I don't want to count my chickens too early. Sweet. Definitely want four Leyline of Sanctity. They're a discard deck, but also an endurance deck. Lists sometimes play a Magus of the Moon in the board, so you don't want to board out the Void Snare. Once again, Sleight of Hand is just the easiest card to board out in this deck, so we do get rid of that. I think I want, like, one more Bounce Spell in the deck. Board in an Echoing Truth. Shave I Consider? I like leaving in the Pact of Negations for Endurance. Let's try this. No Leyline, no Lotus Field. Think we can probably do better? This has Leyline, but the rest of the hand isn't very good. Mulligan to five. To four. Best hand we've seen. Okay, so... Call me crazy. This is the four. Leyline of the Void. Okay. So this means that I probably need to board in more bounce spells for... Game three if there is one. Land Bird. Play Delta. Grist, sure thing. They mill a besage you. Big fan. Another Lotus Field's a little bit awkward on our mulligan to four. Can't really afford those types of draw steps. Shield Dread, okay. Take a draw. Grape Shot. Not allowed to cast that due to the ley line. 
our draws have not been ideal. And they're just going for the clock me method, which I would too. I mean, I'm stuck on very few cards. I'm not doing a whole lot. You have your disruption already in play. Okay. Taking five to 14. I'm going to call it. We're not winning this game. Game three. And now I'm forced to board in more bound spells. We're at 62. Board out one Tome Scour and consider three. One Tome Scour allows us to be a lot faster. I'm going to try one other Worldly Gaze. Because the second Scour increases speed by allowing more draws where you don't have to tutor for it. And that's the real impact that it has. Game three, and we are on the play. I mean, this hand is traditionally very good. No ley line. I'm going to keep it, I think. It means that we have to beat endurance using pact and negation. Went out with a very fast mulligan to four, so they're just hard mulliganing to ley line. And they did not keep it. Like I mentioned, I do like bobbling on our own turn. Another breach. I'll fetch. Save a little bit of damage. We'll just get a tapped watery grave. Another breach again. Blooming Marsh, Birds. Okay, we'll play a Claw and pass the turn. Noble Hierarch and another Ignoble Hierarch. They have one card in hand. They're attacking for two. Well, their card in hand is not likely Endurance, or else they would have kept those cards back. Through Pact and Negation. We just don't have a way to win yet. So we're just going to play a land and pass. So I could go get Lotus Field, but there's nothing that accumulates cards. That's the problem here. They're swinging for two. I'm going to auto yield to this trigger. Okay, it's clearly some sort of creature. Leyline of the Void. So they drew one after. So now I need a way to win Lotus Field and a Bounce Spell. So this bought them some time. Another Twiddle. That does not help. We have to pass. Strangler Root guys. So they're attacking for four now. I'll go to ten. Come on, Doc. Give me some good draws. That is not a good draw. We are forced to pass the turn. Okay. We're at six. Draw. Bobble. Target myself. Definitely don't want that. So we'll fetch to one. Well, effectively one with uh, the guys. So we're going to five. I should speak more clearly. Okay, so we can also buy times using twiddle effects. Draw. Breach number three, okay. Ooh, that's really bad for me. I can't twiddle one and not go to one now. So there's no point in me using a twiddle effect here. So this is it. Uh, I need a good draw here or else I'm done. I need a bounce spell or the lotus field. Wow. We just never drew anything. They got me. Okay, that was a, a pretty sad loss. We are now one and one. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match 3, looking to come back from that very tough loss. Here we have a hand where we need land number two in Lotus Field, but we have the sleight of hand. We have a protection spell. I didn't know that our opponent was on a blue deck, and it appears to be Merfolk. Can be a tough matchup if they have the um, the new Lord. I can't think of its name off the top of my head. Play the sleight of hand looking for land two. We did not find it. We'll take the consider. Cavern of Souls. They choose to attack with the dock hand, so they're not interested in playing the port game. And our upkeep lets Otherworldly Gaze looking for that land. We found Lotus Field. I think we probably keep that. And then we pass the turn. On the end step, they play a Merfolk Trickster. Land three. They attack for three. They have four cards in hand. Okay, they play a Saloon of Sea and Sky. Draw. There we go. Now we can play the Wish Claw. And attempt to win on the following turn. Ouch. Play the claw. 
They swing for six. I'll go to seven here. They get their draw card. Cavern number two. Okay. And now we draw an extra land that we don't need. All right, Lotus Field. Sacrifice those two. Attempt to untap my Lotus Field. And there's the Hex Catcher. This is the new Lord I was talking about. I'm going to respond by untapping my Lotus Field. Force Pitching Force, I will Pact of Negation. They have one card in hand. Untap. Tap for three blue. Your Hex Catcher may resolve. Am I allowed to untap? They said I can. Activate the Wish Claw. I think we're forced to get another Twiddle here. Tap for blue. Twiddle. So this is going to bring us up to seven mana. They have four in play. Four Merfolk. So I can play Breach, pay for four, and still have one mana left. Okay. Yes. Tap for three red. Underworld Breach. Twiddle. Terms eight. Yes. From nine, consider. I can go to the graveyard. We have 10 cards. Consider. So this will be Storm 10. Double Grape Shot. If they counter, I think they might actually have me here. Unless I draw like a Twiddle or something. Now they don't. Now Double Grape Shot actually just works. Because it would be 11, 12. So that's 23. No. Not interested in paying. Are you? Okay. This looks like a turn four win through Hexcatcher and theoretically, excuse me, theoretically double force of negation. They had two, but they pitched one to another. They didn't need to play as many cards as they did, so I don't know. They had two, we won through it. That's what I mean. And now we grape shot again. Even if they had a third instant speed Merfolk in hand, this would still kill them. Okay. And that's a W. Feels good. All right, so we definitely want these Pact Negations. I don't think boarding and bounce spells is actually like a meaningful play here. I guess like we want some answer to Chalice because sometimes those lists play Chalice of the Void. Hmm. I don't like Ave in the matchup just because Island Walk for the most part. Board out the Sleight of Hands. Board down to one Void Snare, I guess. Submit. Game number two, we're on the draw. We've opened up triple land, double Witch Claw. I don't love this hand, but I'm going to keep it. Like, it plays magic. The Grape Shot's a little awkward. Another Rashad on Dock hand. Play a Misty and pass. They're tapping two in their main phase, probably for a Lord here. Chalice on one. I will consider in response to that. We will have to answer this Chalice eventually. Keep. They swing for one. Another Pact Negation is certainly welcome. That's not a bad draw. Ouch. Wish Claw Talisman. So right now we need a Twiddle, we need Underworld Breach, and then we need one of our two copies of Echoing Truth. They play Immutavolt, four cards in hand. And it looks like now they want to be on the port plan. Okay. Works for me. I'm just going to play a Lotus Field. Pass the turn. Merfolk Trickster. They have three cards drawing up to four. And they're just going beat down. So they're attacking for five here, which will put me to ten. Uh-oh. I don't love that. So this is for eight. So this Street Wraith is going to be shut off. I mean, I can kill the Hex Catcher, but I'm still pretty far away from winning. If I shock off the Misty to go get the red source, so that way I could Wish Claw plus Grape Shot, I'm short. I think we have to get rid of the Hex Catcher. Yes. All right, so we slowed them down. I could have played out my land first. Maybe that was a mistake on my part. I feel like I'm very far from winning. They're going to animate and swing for four. Ooh. So this puts me to one. Yeah, I can't pack that. I think they've got this game. I'm not going to be able to beat all this. Okay, next game. Resubmit. Game three on the play. Sure, keep. Consider. Don't think we need another Twiddle right now. That was a very good hit. 
Cavern of Souls. Surprise, surprise, it names Merfolk. Tide Shaper. Okay. Back to negation was a good draw. Actually, I guess it stops their force of negations. Ouch. Wish Claw. They force it pitching Master of the Pearl Trident. Good deal. We have a backup one anyway. Two mana. Chalice of the Void is back. That's annoying. We do have two Echoing Truths in our deck. It's just a little obnoxious. Another Twiddle effect. Sacrifice these islands. Tide Shaper gets a little bit smaller. They have two cards in hand. I go to 14. They pass. And a Cycles Tree Wraith. I go to 12. Bobble. Wishclaw Talisman. Looks like they're going to do something in response. They have the Hex Catcher. They sacrifice Tide Shaper, I'll pay. I mean, are you going to sacrifice your Mutavolt to stop this Wishclaw? They do not. Bobble. Merfolk Trickster. Okay. So they'll have an instant speed Merfolk that they can use. We draw an island. They swing for a 1, we go to 11. I'm just so far away from being able to answer this chalice, I feel like. And that was obviously good. Hmm. So it could activate Claw, which gives them the Claw. Go get Echoing Truth. And then cast it on their end step. They would just sacrifice the known flash creature in their hand. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm going to die if I just sit here. So let's go grab an Echoing Truth. And then we'll pass. And now they play the Trickster that we knew about. So now they attack for four and we'll go to seven. I'm licensed hearse. Wow. Um, that's brutal. That was actually devastating. They have one card. We'll attempt to bounce the chalice. If I draw untapped land, maybe. Alright, so they're going to leave just the hex catcher. Can't pay for that one. This puts me to five. Cycle. So I can use the wish claw. Okay. We have to just go through the same gambit. Bobble and twiddle. So they can attack me for one here. This puts me to four. On their end step, we'll attempt to bounce the chalice. It's matches like this that make me wish or make me miss the build I had with Besajus in it. And they drew a flash creature. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm just dead now. I can't win. Yep. Our only other answer is a Void Snare. Okay, so I can play a Breach, but it's not good enough here. Target them. Because I'd played the Breach, and then they could exile both Echoing Truths in response, but also I don't have any mana. So I need five mana. They're going to use a Wish Claw. My only theoretical out to winning this game would be like Street Wraith Beatdown versus a large unlicensed her, so the chalice just got me. Yep. Okay, we are one and two. Brutal. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Okay, match number four will keep drawn <laughs> into main deck relic. I can't seem to catch a break today. Pass. There's this tower. There's a lotus field. I guess I'll play a claw here. It does save mana. Okay. Ouch. Wish claw. They just used the relic immediately. Wow, they're giving me a pretty big window here. Natural Tron? Brutal! Sure. Upkeep, Otherworldly Gaze. Mill, mill, and we'll draw the Breach. Play a Lotus Field. Sacrifice the two lands, pass. We will exile a Pact of Negation. Chromatic Sphere. Sylvan Scrying. Okay. They pick up a Nurse's Tower, so they have seven mana. Another Chromatic Sphere. They activate that for green. Four cards in hand. 
Ancient stirrings. We don't want to see another relic of Regenitus here. They find an Urza's mine. Okay, we have our window. Another underworld breach. Grab an island. Whittle. Untap. Tap it for red. We'll play a breach. Untap the lotus field. Yes. And then we will twiddle a... Well, uh, th actually, this is fine. Storm is four. Now we tap it for black. Play a wish claw. Activate the claw. And now we go get Tome Scour. Target us. We have Warping Whale. <sighs> Cannot catch a break. I'll be honest. I might be done with Lotus Breach after this league. I... I don't know. It feels pretty bad. Like every match, like Tron used to be a buy. Uh, every match just feels bad. Need one card to board out. Sleight of hand. Feeling a little defeated playing this league. You might be wondering why I didn't board an A versus the Relic deck. I found that Ave feels like a trap in the matchup. Like they just answer it with so many things in their deck. O Stone or Ugin, whatever. Scalding turn past the turn. Power plant into star. Okay. Watery grave. Ouch. Consider. Keep. Okay. Right now it looks like we have a turn three if we're left undisrupted. Fetch. Ouch. Push claw. Pass the turn. We use chromatic star for a green. Sylvan scrying. Okay. Blue, red. Play the field. Sacrifice our two lands. And now we'll untap. Tap this for blue. Activate. Go grab Underworld Breach. Play it floating a blue. Untap Lotus Field. Trump Scour. Okay. We stole game number two. I think we just resubmit. So this hand is basically a mulligan to six, but I think I'm going to keep it anyway. Just like two lands, answer to relic, lotus field, it's fine. Map. Play a bobble. Target ourselves. Sure, I'll draw a street wraith. They have turn three Tron. Consider, yes. Untap. Keeping the street wraith in case I draw into otherworldly gaze. Although if this is seven mana Karn, we can never hit enough lands to play lotus field. We'll just pass the turn. Good sign. Okay. Ancient stirrings. They find a forest. Relic. No. And a haywire might. Jeez. Okay. Attempt to echoing truth the relic. They exile all graveyards. Sure. Upkeep we will otherworldly gaze. We need twiddle breach. Ask and you shall receive. Draw for turn, cycle the Street Wraith, tap for blue, play a Lotus Field. All right, so the lesson learned in this match is if you complain enough, your deck will feel bad and then give you some decent hands or some better variants. Consider, Graveyard, Twiddle, yes, tap for blue, Sleight of Hand, take the Twiddle. Cast it. And now we will Wish Claw for the Scour and win the game. Activate. Grab Tome Scour. Twiddle. And Scour. Okay, we did it. We are now 2-2. Two and two, And uh, let's see if we can just get our money back, finish this with a positive record. <sighs> All right, match five coming up. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. Round number five, the final match. Keep, I guess. This hand's basically a mulligan to six with a grape shop. The rest of it's fine. Our opponent has also kept seven. We'll bobble, see if land two is on top. It is not, so we'll fetch. Watery grave. Sleight of hand, we find land two, perfect. So we'll pass to our opponent, we'll draw a random card. 
Twiddle is a good one. Verdant Catacombs. Jeez, a lot of Lotus Fields. Okay, so we'll play the island, play Sleight of Hand. Sleight of Hand resolves, we'll take a bobble, play the bobble, and then pass. Opponent fetches. They're probably on creativity. Oh, Calibrated Blast. Okay. Looking for an Underworld Breach at this point. Otherworldly Gaze digs deeper than Consider does, so we'll be casting that. Play the Otherworldly Gaze. Mill all of these. Just looking for a Breach. Bobble. Consider. Put that on the other to the Graveyard. Don't want to cycle this quite yet, so target them. Like, the blast could deal us 15, and I don't want that to happen. So we'll just play the Lotus Field, sacrifice this Watery Grave. We'll draw a random card, another Mishra's Bobble. We've officially seen 33% of our deck and have not found an Underworld Breach. Is Calibrated Blast an instant? It is, okay. Play a Consider. Mill the seam vents. Bobble. Look at our top guard. Another twiddle. Other really gaze. All right, pass the turn. Hope that I'm not dead. So I'm taking how much is this? Fifteen to two. Three wreath is in fact off. You have another calibrated blast. They do. Our inability of finding underworld breach got me there so we went through most of our deck without ever hitting a wish claw or a breach the 34th card down in the deck was the wish claw it was just too far in bring in the ley lines i don't think pact is actually good in this matchup so we'll get rid of that i can't remember if that deck has ley line of the void in it all right i'm going to board as if they have hate i don't want 61 though so let's do this Game two on the play. I guess we keep this. We need land two and Lotus Field, but we haven't answered a ley line. Okay, so no ley line out of them this time. Bobble ourselves. The Street Wraith. I'm fine drawing that. They play a Verdant, and then on their end step, we will cast Otherworldly Gaze, and this was perfect. Sweet. Play the Island and pass. Gothy Voidwalker. Let's cycle to go get the Lotus Field. Gothy can happen, and then we'll bounce it on their end step, and then we're going to go for a turn three. Draw. The land was not a good hit. So we're going... We don't have a deterministic kill. We kind of have to piece our way into it using this otherworldly gaze. We do have two Tome Scours in our deck, so it should be a little bit easier than it has been in the past. Cast the otherworldly gaze. And there's the scour. Easy does it. Twiddle untap the lotus field. Turn three through Dothy feels pretty good. I won't lie. Storm is six. Okay, so at this point, we're just going through the motions until we hit Grape Shot. Thinking about our matchup so far this league, I mean, this match isn't over. I'm not trying to pretend it is, but we didn't really face any decks from the top of the metagame. We didn't face Murktide, we didn't face any creativity, no red black scam, um, no rhinos. It was all sort of like fringe decks. Merfolk isn't super popular, obviously. Uh, Calibrated Blast isn't like a super popular deck. Yawgmoth is on the front page of Goldfish, no hammer time. It was just like, I don't know, uh, not super popular decks is just my point here. No shade at Yawgmoth, it's... A fine deck, but it's at the bottom of the front page too. And the grape shot is literally on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Tap for red and grape shot. Off to game number three now. I think after seeing the Dothy, I'll bring back in the Void Snare. Get rid of one consider. Well, let's try this. Game three, we've opened up a really good hand. We have literally everything we want other than land two. I will keep. Turn one, Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, there we go. Love it. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a Dothy. 
grab a steam vents. Play the island, pass the turn. No! Oh, that's brutal. So we have two Echoing Truths. Ah, oh, second Dothy was backbreaking. Okay, we have to find one of our two Echoing Truths now. I thought we had it. Play the Lotus Field. Pass. If they have a Calibrated Blast in hand, I'm just dead. Because most of the cards... I guess they could hit another Dothy off it. They swing for six, so I'll go to ten. Draw. Can we do this? Twiddle. Cancel. Void Snare, one. Target them with Grape Shot. So one of the key things here is Grape Shot has to be Storm 3, because if it's Storm 2, it gets exiled to the Dothy. Because the Dothy's still in play when the original would go to the graveyard. And now we twiddle. Tap for blue. Play Underworld Breach. Scour. They have Leyline Binding. No! <laughs> oh! Oh, jeez. Yeah. That was tough. And now next turn, they can replay the Dothy. <sighs> Keep the land on top. Pass. That was tough. There it is. We have to pass. They play a Shadow Prophecy. Ouch. So I think the goal here is that I'm going to Otherworldly Gaze and pray to hit the last Void Snare in the deck. And that they don't have a Ley Line Binding. It's asking for a lot. Actually, I don't have the Steam Vents, so that's actually not even possible. Because I would need an extra mana. Alright, well, I'm going to keep the Pluted Delta because that gives me the option next turn. I mean, I guess I could try right now. So once again, Grape Shot cannot be Storm 2. So I have to play a Bobble first. This actually just isn't enough resources. Remove Bobble. Other really Gaze. Consider. Another Ley Lane Binding. Yep. So I guess on the plus side, if I find a Bounce Spell, we should be okay. We're not actually out of it yet. Pass the turn. Oh, they have a Calibrated Blast in the graveyard. I didn't even realize that. So they just need a single land here to kill me. Another Shadow Prophecy. And they have land five for next turn. Bobble ourselves. We don't need that, so we'll fetch. How many Bounce Spells do we have in here? Two Echoing Truths and a Void Snare. All three of those win the game. So I could upkeep Otherworldly Gaze. I think that's probably worth it. Don't need any of these. Okay, Bobble. Draw. Oh, this actually doesn't... Actually, no, Echoing Truth does do it. Because they don't have double white. So I will get back both of the Underworld Breaches. And now we twiddle. My opponent is now calling my deck bad in chat. Cool. Alright, target myself with the void or the uh the scour again twiddle on tap storm is six scour again from seven scour okay and now we'll twiddle yes scour again and now we have enough resources to double grape shot if we need to grape shot I feel like we got pretty lucky to win this one. Sweet. We finished with a positive record. We went three and two. We got our money back. <sighs> Maybe I was a little too harsh during the Merfolk matchup, but it just feels like every single match with this deck is an uphill battle. We never faced the top of modern or like the pinnacle of the format. We faced a lot of like brews and rogue decks. Um and it was a fight to even break even. So there's nothing necessarily wrong with this deck. I, like, I don't think I'd make any changes still. Like, there's only so much you can do to improve in a deck uh, where it's really about the metagame and the cards that are available sometimes. And I think we've reached the point where I don't think there's much I can do to make this deck better. It's just not well positioned, and that's unfortunate. So let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm just complaining too much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video.
If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.